Do you assume what other people need or ask often? How many times have you had a home conflict with anyone just because the message was not understood? From ending relationships to provoking conflict in business, communication crosses all of the barriers in our lives and it can be the root cause of major issues as well as the savior of peace between individuals. The clearer and more objective you are, the easier it will be for people to understand your message. Additionally, there is always an opportunity to verify if the other recipient understood what you tried to express. Be kind, be direct, and respectful every time you want to initiate a dialogue. It is extremely important that we consider this part of the communication process whenever we want to engage in a conversation and also never assume what the other people is understanding or trying to be as much as possible very objective in the way you want to communicate your issue, your message, the problem. It, it, it doesn't matter what you try to communicate. The, the main idea is that you tr do it in the most short sentence and very objective way. From the book of Words That Work, from the Dr. Frank Lutz, I extracted a quote that I want to reflect on this topic, and it is this, it is important to carefully explain the relevance of your message, which means giving context. This is easy to do by arranging your message in the right order. Thus, if you want to offer a solution, your audience, so the other person, needs to know why there is a problem. Without the initial context, your message is worthless. And this is something that happens very often when we engage in communication processes, mainly in relationships, when you want to express something first for you, maybe there is a problem, there is an issue, there is something that you didn't like and you kept on before for days, for weeks or even for years, but the other person is not aware of that. So if you don't even explain that what you are trying to convey in the conversation, of course, that instead of solving one problem, you are going to create a lot more. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where your words were totally misinterpreted? I think that we all have lived these situations more now in these days that people are getting used to this kind of um, faces and emojis in the way they communicate or they shorten their words or they try to express several things in just one small abbreviation of words. So we are um, destroying the language by doing that. And we are making ourselves or the lives mo a lot more difficult if we don't really just express what we want. And if we don't just say what we want to say with the whole words, it is just an apathetic culture that it just wants to write three or four letters to express something that it's probably more complicated than that. And more between this kind of interchange of text, there can be a lot of misinterpretation. And also, have you thought that you were saying one thing only to find that the other person completely heard something different? This is something that happens also very uh, common because we are in a different kind of emotional background. We are not thinking the same. We have a lot of differences even between genders at the same age. Imagine more in when you are trying to communicate with your children or with older people, whatever it is the case, 
or people that are from other countries. So you need to have context and try to be as empathic as you can with the other person's point of view. Effective com communication isn't about your message or what your words objectively mean, but rather how people understand them. It's essential to consider your audience or the other, the other recipient perceptions, preconceptions, especially their beliefs and fears. That's why if you don't know the person, then try to be as objective as possible so that you don't hurt any kind of feelings. And just also probably it can help if you speak a little bit about you so that the audience understand that if you say something is just because you are from a different experience, from a different country, from a different background. So they won't feel offended if you say something instead of just trying to be oblivious of these kind of facts. The key to accomplish this is to find words that either apply to a situation everyone is familiar with, a strategy that is called humanization or empathy, or even better, to their personal life experience or so a story of your life, a technique called personalization. And we know that these stories of our lives really resonate with people because in spite of where we grew up, we have many times the same kind of issues and problems and um, also interactions with other people. It's important to remain authentic, never try to copy someone else or try to say words that are not yours just to show off or just to say that you accomplish something that of course people know that that's not real or that's not even your, um, your we try to convey these kind of messages the more we try to do the easiest way to accomplish this communication process in words and in actions the more congruent we are going to be to the public it's clear that we live in a time where the attention span is shrinking rapidly and it is ridiculously small, which makes important to grab the attention, the reader's attention or the other audience attention with one line, with one um, subject that consists of a single sentence that outlines your more pressing demand in terms of communicating in a business um, background or in a business setting. So the more we try to be in the other people's shoes, in the audience shoes, in the way try to assemble as much as possible the way they are thinking, what do they expect? What is the purpose of the talk or the thing that you are trying to communicate the easier it will be. And if you are just sensing that the other person is right away understanding another thing that is completely different to what you wanted to say, just stop the conversation and try to um, verify what the other person is understanding or understood in that aspect so that you don't make uh, this conversation or you don't bias the conversation into a discussion that will create, of course, more problem and more detachment or defensive issues. So this is a time where also we need to be more uh, aware that nothing is personal and we are not trying to prove something just by expressing our opinions because we also have arrived to a point where there is too much um, sensibility in terms of taking things personal when you express something. So it's not always, and in most of the cases, it's not at all about you or what you feel. 
It's about what the other people is trying to express. And that is based on their own ideas, their own mind, their own problems, their own issues. So even if you see something that is aggressive in the media, that's the way they are thinking. That's, that's what it is inside of them in that moment. And anyone is responsible for their own minds and for their own problems. So don't try to solve those kind of conversations or don't engage in those kind of conversations because you are just going to waste your time and your energy. And by doing that, you are also going to locate your vibrations into a lower space. So try to be more empathic, clear, objective, and try to be clear in the message that you want to convey to the other person. Verify often if they are understanding you, and that will be the easiest way to create a productive, effective conversation. Thank you very much for listening. If you like the reflection and it resonates with you or you think it can help some people that are having communication problems, just help me to send it and forward so that they can understand the message. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful afternoon and we'll see each other next week. Bye.